For doctors in Shanghai and neighboring Jiangsu province, the race is on to find out as much as they can about this new virus, where it comes from and how it spreads. As for this new H7N9 bird flu virus that we have discovered, up until now we are certain that it is a completely new flu virus that had infected humans. As of now, we are still unclear on where the infection originated from, and we are unclear as to what specific types of animals had infected them. Until now, this type of bird flu has not been a problem among humans, unlike the more virulent H5N1. But clearly, something has happened to make it deadly to people. China's neighbors are watching anxiously to see how far it will spread. Tighter controls have been put in place at Hong Kong's border crossing points, looking for signs of fever, and on the streets, signs of an environmental cleanup campaign. By coincidence, this month marks the 10th anniversary of the arrival of SARS here, which went on to kill 800 people around the world, more than a third of them in this city. One of the scientists credited with the discovery of the SARS coronavirus says this new virus could be even more dangerous than the H5N1 bird flu because it is often not detected in birds until it's been passed on to humans. If we Don't eradicate it pretty quickly. That、uh, this virus will become endemic and spread、uh, across China and beyond China. And given the fact that it seems to be fairly silent infection in poultry, it can be even a bigger challenge than H5N1. The big fear, of course, if it is allowed to spread and develop, that it might mutate into a form that is capable of human-to-human -human transmission. Scientists are hoping they have caught it in time. In the ten years since SARS, the Chinese authorities have become far more efficient at detecting viruses and then dealing with them. What concerns scientists here is the continuing ability of this part of the world to turn up new and deadly strains. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.